Good morning, my friends. It is Monday. I'm so excited. Over the past three weeks, I've been fasting, and it's been such a great honor just to be back on social media. And this year, you know, I just felt from my spirit that I would want to do daily devotionals because I know having a post on Facebook is not enough. And so I just felt led just to get the word out there, you know, to you, whatever it may be, whatever the Lord pressed on my heart. I just want to share it with you. And really quick, you know, for the next couple of days, I just want to share with you from just the subject, step out of the boat. You know, it's going to be two-part or three-part, I don't know yet. However, we're familiar with the scripture. It's found in Matthew 14, 22 to 33, but I'm only going to read three scriptures found in verse 27. And it says, but Jesus was quick to comfort them. Courage, it's me. Don't be afraid. Verse 28 says, Peter suddenly bold said, Master, if it's really you, call me to come to you on the water. Verse 29, it says, He said, Come ahead. What I like about the scripture is that in the first part, Jesus says, But Jesus was quick to comfort them. Courage, it's me. He was talking to the disciples and he was referring to the disciples as courage. And I want to tell you something. Whenever a storm comes your way, whenever life comes your way, whenever fear comes your way, whenever things that you did not expect to come your way happen, the Lord wants to speak courage over your life. It may bring turmoil. It may bring financial, uh, you know, depth into your life. It may make you lose things that you don't want to lose. But God wants to speak to your fear and call it courage. He wants you to have that courage to pursue your day um, in and out of season. And a lot of times, we let sin get a hold of us. We let our fears grip us, and we let our fears hold us back from getting close to God. We let our fears hold us back from getting off the boat and seeking God every day. And I came to tell you just this morning in this small vid, don't ever think that the things of life should hold you back or should make you scared. God wants to make sure that the courage inside of you is going to come forth and it's going to spring forth and it's going to go into the darkest of places. And the courage that God puts inside of you is the courage that's going to get you to be close to where God is. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're facing today, but I speak to your fear and I say courage. I speak to your life and I say courage. Whatever you're going through, start speaking courage over your life because God wants the courage and the boldness for you to walk in with his Holy Spirit. You guys have a great day. God bless.